The Teresal Tiara is the last Group 1 race of the season for Phillies and Mares run over 1,400 metres at Eagle Farm. Interesting stat is that six of the last seven winners of the race have come through the Dane Ripper form line. So it's a great form line for this race. Sabatiano, very consistent mare, finally broke through for her maiden Group 1 win. She's had quite a few goes at Group 1 level, but finally broke through in the Canterbury Stakes earlier this prep. She might just struggle at 1,400. She hasn't run for a month, so she's on fresh legs. I'll give her a good each way chance. Tefane, she has the best form heading into this tiara. Obviously winning the Stradbroke at Group 1 level at the same track, same distance. She's a proven Group 1 performer winning the All Age Stakes a season or two ago. She's also drawn a bit awkward. Interesting that Craig Williams sticks with her. She's looking to be the fourth Stradbroke winner since 2013 to win the tiara. Good stat. Subpoenaed. Comes off a terrific run in the Stradbroke. Had to go a long way back that day and uh, made good ground to run fifth. Hugh Bowman, Chris Waller. What I like about this mare, she's drawn barrier to Hugh's going to give a beautiful run where, wherever he lands. I'd imagine he could be midfield, just forward to midfield, and she'll be very, very strong. Odium. Five of the last 12 winners of this race have been three-year-old fillies. Trained by Mick Price and Mick Kent Jr., ridden by James McDonald. She's drawn awkward. She went forward in the uh, Dane Ripper the other day. She could get in, could get caught in an awkward spot if she goes forward again, but quite confident James McDonald's going to sum that up pretty quick. One of the main chances in this race off the Dane Ripper form, she uh, she ran good and went great on Eagle Farm, which is quite important. Horses horses going there for the first time don't often run as good as she did, but she but she handled it quite well the other day, and I'm confident she can run super in this race as long as she gets the right run throughout. Brooklyn Hustle, back to back Group wins in the Dane Ripper the other day, raced great on the Eagle Farm track. Loses Craig Williams, but gains Michael Carl. Advantage or not, I'm not sure. Good, good accomplished rider, Michael Carl, over a long period of time. Loves riding these horses quite, and that's how she performed best the other day. She's gonna get to the outside, and she'll be storming home down, down the outside of the track. As long as she finds the right lane, uh, it's gonna be awfully hard to beat. Five of the last eight Tiara winners have been last start winners. And that's a good stat for these mares. When mares start winning races, they tend to hold that form. At the end of the day, I'm tipping Odium, Mick Price and Mick Kent Jr. Ran a great race in the Dane Ripper, James McDonald to ride, leading Group 1 rider in the country. I think it's going to be very, very hard to beat. And my Ruffy is going to be Mizzy, now trained by the greatest trainer in the world, Annabelle Neesham, owned by heavyweight owners Coolmore.